Okay, so I'm still at my son's apartment in Barcelona, um, broadcasting from here. I did this story last week and uh, apparently didn't upload, so we'll try it again. Uh, we are renovating an apartment in Switzerland. We live most of the time in Switzerland, as uh, if you've been following these at all, which I know they're so intensely exciting that you can't not follow them. But uh, if you've been following them, uh, we live in Switzerland, and even if you haven't been following them, we still live in Switzerland. Uh, and um, renovating an apartment, and actually turning one apartment into two in an older building. And uh, one of the things I do as a hobby is uh, renovate places. I'm not good at it, but uh, I've done it for years, and I enjoy it. And there was a laundry room in one it was for the entire apartment building, and a few people used it, not with a washer, not just with it. it was a drying room, basically. And then uh, we were going to cut through a wall, and this is an old house that's been added on to several times. We're going to cut through a wall, and then uh, into another apartment, just the attic of an apartment, take four or five steps down. So last two weeks ago, the man who lives in the apartment, whose attic we're going to be uh, using, came with a chainsaw, an <laughs> electric chainsaw, and cut this wall down for me. And it's, it's, it's old wood, you know, it's, 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 it's this thick. So he uh, was, uh, he cut it down and pulled it down, and these big chunks of wood came out. And it just opened up into this room, and partially up into his attic. Uh, we cut the wall out, but there was still the floor to his attic in there. And he said to me, you mark it, I'll cut it. And so my wife went and measured, and he came, and, and he said, I'm, I'm ready to cut it. And I think that he rented a chainsaw, an electric one, because we didn't want the gas one in the house, I guess. Um, so Klaus, he's 72, a mountain of a man, big man. And uh, he was cutting from his floor. Okay, Now, his floor is about uh, chest level with me. I'm in this doorway that we've cut out, and, and he's like from here up, standing right about there, maybe, maybe to here on me. And he's got the chainsaw, and he starts cutting out this uh, rectangular 3x2 uh, area, you know, more like 4x6 area. And he starts cutting and cutting, and the ceiling that he's going to be cutting through is a tongue and groove, and it goes all the way back, and as he starts cutting through the, all the other woods, it starts to sag, and I'm thinking, ooh, you know, if he tears my ceiling out, then I've really got a lot of work to do. But he gets over to, and gets the chainsaw deep enough to go through the most of the ceiling panel. And as he's going through it, I keep saying to him, you know, Klaus, you're getting just a little bit of wood there. There's not much wood. Now, he doesn't speak in English. I don't speak very much Swiss German. Uh, my wife, Nicole, is standing over my shoulder watching, and she's saying, you know, you need to stop. You need, there's, there's enough wood cut away. No, 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 no. I'm fine. I'm fine. So I've got my arms underneath the, his floor, my ceiling, all right? And he's standing on it, cutting with this electric chainsaw. He's got one foot on solid floor and one foot on this floor that he's cut mostly through and all of a sudden uh, things happen so quickly the next thing I know is he is in my arms as he goes by me and like I said he's a mountain of a man and I'm grabbing everything I can to try to slow him down now everything now that has happened in the instant right I have to reconstruct the ceiling he's cut enough through and he's fortunately cut the long tongue and groove panel, so they didn't rip through. But he uh, cut through and got enough through that the floor came through. I had it underneath, and as it let go, it slipped out of my arms, and I think he hit me very hard in his head, in, in my head, as he went by. Hit me with something, a shoulder, an elbow, something, and chainsaw was still going. <laughs> chainsaw, right? But the next thing I know... The floor is gone, right? And there he is, and I'm slowing him down as much as I can, and he lands, and he lands on the next floor down. He looks like he goes, well, that wasn't too far. <laughs> this is an older man laying on the floor with a chainsaw, which has magically stopped. They've got him now so that they do, and it, it stopped on its way down. Uh, there was no blood anywhere uh, on him or me, uh, and... We were both shaking like crazy. Like I said, my wife was standing behind me, and, 
And she said, how did you do that? How did you catch him? And I said, I don't know. And again, I had to reconstruct it in my brain. I had to go back and realize that the floor slipped out. And then I was back up again. And then he must have hit me in the head because that night I was washing. And boy, I had a goose egg. I didn't even know it. I was uh, taking a bath. And boy, I had a big goose egg on my head. I thought, holy cow, he must have really come through there. Which he did. Uh, I saw him later on in the day. He's fine. His chainsaw is fine. I'm fine. And the floor is <laughs> out or the ceiling or whatever portion of the house you want to call it. Uh, and it's just one of those things that happened and everything came out all right and we're very happy that everybody turned out okay. Have a fun day. www.micpeakperformance.com